Hey what's up guys and welcome to Xbox On. Now with Christmas creeping up on us, we've been trying to get in the festive mood and draw up our Christmas wish list. One game that is definitely up there is Dead Rising 4. It's a zombie game set at Christmas to get you in the perfect Christmas spirit and here are 7 reasons why it's time to swap sleigh bells for zombie slaying. As one of the earlier heroes on Xbox 360, we'll always have a soft spot for Frank West. Our original zombie slaying hero is back, but with a slightly new look. Some time has passed since the original game. Frank was discredited after pointing the finger at the zombie conspiracy and is now making a life for himself as a teacher. But when one of his students drags him back to Willamette, the Colorado-based setting of the first game, he's implicated in a crime and forced to go on the run. As you'd hope for a man who has already survived two zombie outbreaks, Frank is a better fighter. Capcom Vancouver have thrown out the clunky infantry system, separating his melee weapons, guns and thrown items onto individual buttons. Switching between his different attacks is much quicker as well as stitching those moves into violent combos. Don't worry though, having a more capable Frank doesn't mean he's going to take the job any more seriously. Look, here he is with a fire-breathing triceratops head, and here he is escaping zombies in a dressing gown and face paint. It's the end of the world as we know it, but Frank is still taking the time to enjoy himself. Another cool development is Frank's improved camera. Frank's telephoto lens has always been a key part of his arsenal. In the earlier games, he could snap photos of exciting, violent or, you know, erotic sights and earn points towards leveling up. That system is still in play in Dead Rising 4, but the camera itself has far more uses. If you look at his new camera interface, you'll spot some important new additions. First up is the selfie button. Dragging Frank's gurning mug into the picture adds bonus points to the shot. You can even set the expression of Frank's face to best capture the emotion of the moment. Creep up on an enemy and you can even perform a stealthy, grabbing them for a quick picture before smashing them into the ground. Look along the top of the screen and you'll see it has two new lenses. Night vision helps Frank explore darker areas, while the spectrum analyzer is used to follow clues in the world. Now let's talk about the brand new mall. If you played the original Dead Rising, you'll note that this mall looks quite unfamiliar. That's because this isn't the original Parkview Mall, but the Willamette Memorial Megaplex, an even bigger mall built over the remains of the original building. That said, the team at Capcom Vancouver did tell us that we can expect a few nods to the original stores. One of the best things about the new mall are the themed shopping areas. Capcom tells us we'll find weapons that fit each individual area. So if you head to this medieval area, for example, you can find a handy broadsword. Capcom also recommend you check out the pirate ship play area. It may be designed for kids, but the ship has a fully functioning cannon you can tear off and turn against the undead. The idea of items being found where you expect to find them has been a really key focus for the team in Dead Rising 4. If Frank wants to find some food to gobble down, he better go get himself to the mall's food court. If he wants to find new clothing for building ludicrous outfits, he needs to go and dig through your laundrette. This logic extends to the outside world as well, where you're more likely to find guns in a house belonging to hunting nuts than the anti-gun crew. You can't have Dead Rising without some Dead to Rise, and this latest game introduces some great new zombie types that are going to really mix up the combat. First up is your good old-fashioned Shambler. These are the run-of-the-mill deadheads we've been bashing to pieces over the last 10 years of Dead Rising. While they aren't massively unchanged, there are more of them on screen. Capcom Vancouver used clever AI tricks to only bring zombies to life when you get near them, freeing up more power to put hundreds of the things on screen. Hey, all the better for hitting a massive kill combo. If you see these blood red eyes, it's time to start running. Mainly because these guys can run too. The freshly dead are more of a 28 days later sprinting zombie and are much harder to hit with melee weapons. In a fun twist, their bite can affect other humans, leading them towards human enemies and letting them do all the hard work. Just don't complain when there are more zombies to fight. The new Evo zombies are the scariest of the batch. Like the Velociraptors in Jurassic Park, these are smarter zombies that hunt in packs and have considerable health and dexterity. They can even call other zombies to battle and strengthen them with a scream, quickly turning a safe area into a den of gnashing zombie teeth. We sometimes wonder if it might be easier to let them bite you and just go with the flow. 
One of the things we're most excited about are the new combo weapons. Dead Rising has always had loads of fun mashing up everyday items into brutal weapons, but they've never been as creative as this. You can combine a sword and liquid nitrogen into a frost blade. Yes, you can freeze zombies and then chop them into tiny ice cubes. Or how about mixing TNT in a bone, luring the zombies in before blowing them sky high? Maybe you'd prefer an axe that fires freaking electricity. And because the game is set in the Christmas period, there's a festive vibe to many of the weapons. And that's before you take to the streets in your combo vehicles. Combine a lawnmower and a tricycle and you get a flame spewing zombie mincer. Or maybe you want the electrified go-kart. Or maybe the giant truck with a zombie lobbing catapult on top. Looking at these things, you wonder how the zombies are going to possibly offer any kind of threat. And that's totally fine by us. Another thing we're looking forward to playing with is the exosuit. As good as all his gadgets are, Frank is still just a man. But what if he could become more than a man? Enter the exosuit. This beauty is a military-grade robotic augmentation harness pulled from military crates dotted around Willamette. Let's break it down a little. When your whole body is a weapon, you don't need to rely on makeshift tools to perform a visceral kill. Build up a suitable kill combo and you can pull off an exosuit visceral kills. You can perform spine mushing pile drivers or do your best impression of an Olympic hammer thrower. Our favorite is grabbing a zombie and tearing it at the waist. A move the team at Capcom Vancouver referred to as the grilled cheese sandwich. Mmm, tasty. Attaching mechanical pistons to Frank's arms lets him lift the heavy objects that little old fleshy Frank could only dream of. Cars? Smash them into zombie hordes as if they were micro machines. And if you want to do some real damage, just pluck a parking meter out of the ground. It's basically a giant concrete lollipop. The one downside to the exosuit, every one you find only has two minutes of juice, so you've got to learn to make the most of it. Think of it like Mario's Invincibility Star. You grab it and enjoy a few moments of destructive bliss. If you're looking for any more reasons to play Dead Rising 4, look no further than the exosuit combos. Yes, with his body inside a giant robot skeleton, Frank is now able to combo himself Combine the suit with an ice slush machine, for example, and you're able to punch giant ice spikes from the floor and whip up an ice tornado that are ripped through the zombie masses. We also see Frank upgrade his suit with military hardware that turns him into a mobile gun turret. A huge part of Dead Rising's appeal comes down to what happens when item A meets item B. These are going to be the most epic combos yet. So there we have it guys, our seven reasons why we want to find Dead Rising 4 under our Christmas tree. The game is looking absolutely crazy and we've only seen the tiniest glimpse of it so far. If there's anything you're looking forward to trying out in Dead Rising 4, do let us know in the comments below and remember to like the video and make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. We'll see you guys next time.